I like this question because I also kind of want to dig into like, what's the idea of competitive? Like what makes a podcast competitive? What makes it great? And how can you tell that a podcast does really well? This is a question I often ask myself. Like if I get outreach from someone or and I want to look into their podcast and they don't have like a website where they actively say like, these are our stats. I find it hard as a guest to find the numbers of like, what are their downloads? What are their rankings? Like how active is their and engaged as their audience and for me that's what competitive sounds like um a really popular podcast that isn't booking a lot of guests because there's a lot of people in line there's a lot of questions in there uh but i think some interesting ones uh one is hiring a publicist that's something anyone can do obviously there's a cost to that and you know we've had a number of authors do that and we're getting ready to offer some further services around that for future authors which i think will be really interesting to try out um, two there's a service out there i've found pretty impactful called matchmaker.fm they uh, call themselves tinder for podcasts is their uh, tagline which i think is really funny but i've i've actually landed a few good shows through that uh, but honestly the big one for me has been referrals and networking uh, as you know when i ask someone who would be a good, you know, but I ask them how I can help you. And they say, who would be a good guest for my show? And I offer them one and then actually connect those two people and they're good guests on their show. I've had that author then refer me to other shows. And sometimes the host of the show refer me to friends of theirs who host podcasts to say, hey, this John guy was great on my show. Why don't you have him on your show? And that slowly has, uh, the quality of shows I've been on has gone up and up and up, which has been great. And I have not hired a publicist. I've really taken the networking and referral approach and it's it's had a really positive impact for me. That's a good strategy. Thanks. The price is right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's so many questions that I have within this particular question. Um, but the first thing is, is it really, it doesn't really matter how big someone's podcast is. It matters what the alignment is. Mm. So does that, does that show really align with your message? And if it, if it does, and you want to reach out to them, um, you know, you could do like something interesting, like slide up in their DMs and send them a video message on Instagram if you want to get really creative. You could um, reach out to them and let them know that you've listened to the show, let them know why you love that show, why you think it's a good alignment, and then bullet point the three stories that you can, can tell that will connect to their audience, and then let them know what you'll do to promote the show. Just keep it simple um, and follow back up in a couple weeks because we all get busy. Follow up thank is you for important. Alicia, thank you for adding that point. Alicia just described a template that we co-created that is if you're a new degree press author, you can easily find on the internal system that we use. That's out there. Uh, but I, I would tell you that, to piggyback that thought, this goal alignment thing is so important. And I would tell you it's the same for marketing your book. If you want to create leverage in any capacity, how does the audience win? How does that partner win? Whatever they might be, podcast, media outlet, bookstore, whatever it is, and how do you win? Thinking about it in that order, I think it not only helps you find better people to reach out to for and have good alignment with, but how to frame that message more appropriately. Because if you just call them and say, hey, I wrote a book, you should have me on your show, nobody really cares. They care that you can help grow and engage your audience. So Alicia, thank you for triggering that, that thought in this conversation you and I've had many times about how do you create that alignment? It goes for podcasts, it goes for many, many things to create leverage for your book. And I, I couldn't agree more with that. Thank you. 